Summit's a proud sponsor of the Las Vegas Hills, and we're pleased to be hosting this event tonight. It's important for us to be a healthcare leader here in Nevada, and we believe it's critical to be part of our community. All of us here tonight have a voice in how healthcare is delivered here in Nevada, and events such as this with the Las Vegas Hills help bring us all together in pursuit of that endeavor. Silver Summit is Nevada's newest health plan offering high quality services to Nevada's Medicaid and Marketplace Exchange participants. We are a local health plan right here in Las Vegas. However, we have the backing of our parents, Centene, the nation's largest provider of Medicaid and Marketplace services. We work directly with our providers to develop innovative solutions to meet the unique and distinct needs of our members. We believe providers should be rewarded for doing the right thing and creating a positive and comfortable experience for our members. In line with that belief that healthcare is delivered locally, we also believe it's important for us to be active in our communities. And over the last year, Silver Summit has participated or sponsored many events here in the state of Nevada. For instance, included in that list, No One Eats Alone Day, a program designed to combat social isolation in the middle school setting. We've co-sponsored with the Vegas Golden Knights, Nevada Reading Week, here in Las Vegas schools to promote reading in elementary kids. We've sponsored the Three Square Food Drive in conjunction with the Las Vegas Golden Knights at City National Arena, the practice facility for the Vegas Golden Knights. We also rolled out last year Strong Youth, Strong Communities, a partnership forged with Pro Football Hall of Fame, designed to organize summits to promote leadership, individuality, sound decision making, and to develop a strong moral code in teen boys and girls here in our communities. And finally, Project Connect, a collaboration with the Nevada Homeless Alliance to reach out to our most vulnerable communities by providing direct services and resources.